in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I want you to lift your voice and say, Lord, I'm ready to do whatever it takes to cause the glory to be manifested in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, oh God. Whatever it takes. To see your glory, to see your power. Pray, make sure you pray. Shibrakato Sada Brandi Gidida Rabala. Desire to see your glory in our lives. Please pray. There is a way the glory of God can be so real in your life. We are praying. Shala prakatu sebriyata. Fill me up till I overflow. I wanna run. It as a revelation, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehends. Darkness trembles in your Let me give us a prayer point. Lord, teach me your ways 
so that every darkness in my life will flee. Teach me your ways. Lift your voice and pray. Teach me your ways. I don't want to shadow box my destiny, guessing and hoping I am right. Teach me your ways. Teach me your ways. He says, and the light shineth in darkness. There is a light that can shine and bring to end every darkness. There is a light that can shine. Please pray inside, outside, online. Teach me your ways. Show me your presence. Lord, do not hide it from me. Show me the mysteries of dominion. Show me the mysteries of grace. Show me the secrets of the Spirit. Pray. It's a very serious prayer point. Teach me your ways. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Jeremiah chapter 17. Please keep standing. My spirit is fired up tonight. Jeremiah 17 verse 8. This is a prophecy for someone in this place tonight. Jeremiah 17 verse 8. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters that spreadeth her roots by the river and shall not see when heat comes listen it says but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought neither shall cease from yielding fruit lift your voice in one minute and i want you to receive this prophetic word lord i receive it be childlike enough to receive it. I receive it as a word from you to me. As a word from you to my destiny. That I shall be like a tree by the waters. I shall spread my roots by the rivers. I will not need to wait for a season to receive nourishment. My roots spread. Hallelujah. Father, tonight we ask you to help us. We have come to receive, we have come to grow, we have come to rise. We have come to be blessed. We have come to access the keys of power, the keys of dominion. We have come for nourishment. And I pray, O oh God, that by your spirit you will bless us tonight. Our hearts are open, our hearts are humble. 
and we are ready to receive in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please be seated I want us to specially appreciate all those following us online I think that um, we need to let them know that they are part of us go ahead and give them a big God bless you all those following us online praise the Lord and for those outside I'm um, aware the weather is uh, quite cold and um, it was drizzling earlier on thank you for your understanding your sacrifice and your patience let's honor them those inside thank you thank you so much hallelujah extraordinary fruitfulness I want to challenge you tonight the Lord put a very fiery message in my spirit extraordinary fruitfulness extraordinary fruitfulness Genesis chapter 12 extraordinary fruitfulness one of the things that God has been doing in this place according to the word he gave us this year a year of triumph is that he's been guiding us precept upon precept line upon line helping us to understand the systems of the kingdom let me tell you something one of the best ways you can bless a man is enlightenment one of the best ways you can bless a man it's not like we usually say it's not to give him a fish or to give him money or give him a, a shoe or a dress all those things are mundane they are carnal they will come and pass a thief can steal it are we together now but enlightenment is intrinsic is lasting it will never change when you enlighten a man to enlighten a man is to create illumination to help the man to access knowledge and understanding in fact let me digress a bit before we start our teaching for tonight I want you to write three words down I was contemplating on these words and thank you Holy Spirit I remember saying that I would share it with us knowledge understanding wisdom these three things we have confused them but they are not the same they walk together like the threefold cord that cannot be easily broken knowledge understanding wisdom knowledge means um, the gathering or access to information when you are talking about knowledge you are talking of access to information not necessarily benefiting from it just access to information the moment an information comes to you capable of changing you is called knowledge now understanding is different from knowledge in that understanding talks about comprehension not just access comprehension the fortitude to comprehend the moment you are talking of understanding understanding talks about comprehension a comprehension of the underlying principles that are responsible for that outcome listen nothing ever happens on its own in this earth nothing ever happens evil or good nothing ever happens on its own hallelujah miracles do not happen just like that tragedies do not just happen failure does not just happen success does not just happen the anointing does not just come people don't just backslide there is always um, certain operations that are initiated whether in ignorance are we together now if I kick this speaker by mistake the pain will not refuse to come to my leg and say I think it's a mistake as far as the system of pain is concerned I did it intentionally are we together now so in ignorance we have activated a lot of spiritual laws and discoordinated them and we have become victims victims of the interplay of those laws it's like cutting a naked wire and putting it on your head by mistake when it's raining 
now whether you are aware or not the wire will not excuse that mistake will it shock you yes understanding the bible says with all you're getting get understanding we celebrate knowledge so much but let me tell you knowledge without understanding is the same thing as not knowing it at all the lot of one who just has knowledge without understanding and the lot of one who does not have knowledge at all is the same their destinies will eventually be the same doom so it's not enough to access knowledge as good as it is access to an information capable of changing you is not enough you must be able to understand the dynamics of its operation this is where understanding comes in gathering the ingredients to make rice does not produce rice it shows you that there is a potential for you to enjoy delicious rice but with the availability of that ingredients you can mess that entire you can waste those ingredients to look like they were not there because there is no understanding it is understanding that will tell you when to apply what one careless mistake and you produce something else that's how life is it's not enough for us to just have knowledge i know i know i know that in the economy of god people should be blessed i know that people can be anointed yes i'm aware i know that people can grow i know that demons are real i know that restoration is real i know that titan and offering helps people to be blessed that level of knowledge has too much vagueness there is no comprehension of the dynamics Tithing blesses people, but what is the operation behind it? Restoration is a possibility, but what is the key that activates it? Rising from glory to glory, excelling in the midst of recession is a possibility. Rising without any support, uncle, auntie, whatsoever is possible. But do you understand the dynamics that activate it? Favor is a provision in the kingdom. But do you have do you have an understanding do you have a comprehension you see let me tell you something anything you cannot reproduce again and again you do not understand it's as simple as that it is possible to have a short-term result based on pure luck pure luck you play a football by mistake and it's cause a goal it's still a goal but you may not be able to repeat it again our example of that rice you can mix nonsense and by mistake things just fall in place and you produce a delicious meal but you cannot reproduce it again now let me tell you something many believers including spiritual people are largely celebrators of knowledge celebrators of access to spiritual information oh i know the book of this and that and that it says this should happen and they say wow what a an intelligent quota of scripture Cain and Abel had access to the same materials but their combinations produced an effect that brought war to one and made another person's sacrifice acceptable you must cry for understanding you must cry for understanding and then wisdom talks of application you see that knowledge talks of an acquisition of information useful information strategic information understanding talks of the comprehension of the dynamics how to make it produce result then wisdom is now the experiential application of what you know understanding a thing and not having the commitment to apply it until it produces result is still nonsense Bible tells us that the word of God can be made of non effect it says the word did not profit them those who heard it not being mixed with faith not that what they had was wrong but it was not mixed with action responses of obedience to validate that they believe God please pay attention to what I'm saying very simple keys but they are responsible for the pain of so many people very simple keys but they can be responsible for the retrogression of a man for ages hallelujah 
so knowledge talks about the acquisition of information understanding talks of the comprehension the dynamics the working principles that produce that result so you are not just seeing an effect or whatever it is you understand the underlying principle and then wisdom is the ability to apply it so that you now get a tangible result knowing that fasting and prayer will help you grow that's just understand that's just knowledge knowing what in fasting and what in prayer makes you grow is understanding then engaging it sincerely and passionately so that your life becomes the result of all that gist is wisdom you can know it you can teach it and never walk in it now this is the challenge with many in the body of christ there is hardly i have i've said it again and again that i am i don't think that the body of christ is in ignorance the challenge of the body is not ignorance by the grace of god we have gone past the realm of ignorance there's almost no dimension of it the system and the realities of the kingdom that you bring to the body of christ that people will be shouting as though they've never heard it no it may just be presented in another way maybe more intelligently or more comprehensively in more detail and clarity articulated more more intelligently but generally they understand they have an idea that such a dimension is in the kingdom but very few people are able to walk in it and God has declared for us that this is a year of triumph I don't want you see knowledge is to know understanding is to hear the message wisdom is to engage it and then you see the results in your life if you don't see the results in your life you will be frustrated first in the secret and then later on the frustration will so build you cannot hide it again it will become clear that this thing is frustrating you like many people are already giving up this is half of the year already and many people are just packing up and saying lord this thing doesn't work no your not understanding it is what makes it look like it doesn't work i can switch this mic off and, and think because i switched it off it doesn't work no there is a system knowing that you can use a mic to amplify your voice is just knowledge understanding the dynamics of his operation a comprehension of the same that's understanding then switching it on and using it now qualifies me to enjoy the blessing i can hold a mic i can draw it i can snap with it and never amplify my voice please i want you to be frustrated um not i don't mean it in a negative way but i i want you i think a better word is to be dissatisfied with acquisition of so many spiritual informations with less than 10 percent of them experientially manifesting in your life nobody works well under such a condition hallelujah you must cry for knowledge it's better for me to know god 10 percent and have an experience of him seven percent that's an a student in the spirit because you are gauged based on what you know than to claim to know god 60 percent and your result shows two percent that's a very terrible situation some even claim 90 percent and the result is one by the one percent the experience vet your spiritual life to make sure you are really getting this thing if you are not getting it stop running retreat and find out where did i miss it i've just been acting acting without understanding lord where have i missed it because you see life will test you and force you to reveal whether you understand this word or not hallelujah but the Bible says the light shines in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not it is my desire from the depth of my heart that many of us are going to begin to produce extraordinary results in our lives don't let anyone ever fool you that it does not matter 
sooner or later you will see that God's obsession is in our bearing fruit. Hearing, John 15 verse 8. Hearing is our Father glorified. When you bear much fruit, right? So shall you be my disciples. That is the proof that you have been listening to me. Sisters, if you give birth to a baby and you've been breastfeeding this baby every day for one year, two years, three years and then the baby cannot walk cannot grow cannot talk what happens to the mother do you celebrate the child and say it's all right i know you are coming up no you know there is a problem so when you have been taking the milk of the world the meat of the world the bones of the world and eventually no growth no result no transformation something is wrong something is wrong there is a difference between the weight in faith and the weight, hopeless waiting that is as a result of your not even knowing what you are doing. Are we together? Like a farmer plants, he knows by the dry season there's a bumper harvest waiting for him. So he waits in hope. He waits in faith. But someone who never went to the farm, if he starts buying bags, waiting for September, that's not a wise man. Please learn this. Nothing just happens. Everything that must happen in your life and my life will require you engaging the mysteries of the kingdom. Engaging the mysteries of the kingdom. Not random engagement. Engaging the mysteries of the kingdom you understand. The mysteries that have been apportioned to deliver the results you want. The results you want. Hallelujah. Let's get down to the business of tonight. Extraordinary fruitfulness. One time, Jesus was on his way doing his father's business and the Bible says that he saw a fig tree and the leaves were green. It looked very attractive. And then the Bible says that Jesus came very hungry. He came hoping to find something to eat. And when he came in hunger, he saw that tree blossoming, yet there was no fruit. And then the Bible says he cursed the tree, cursed it and spoke over it that no fruit will grow there again. The Bible there shows us how it grieves the heart of the father to see a believer, a ministry, a family, a people, an individual who cannot produce evidences that validate that God is alive. Fruitfulness is a big deal to God. Fruitfulness is a big deal to God. It's not just a proof that you are growing. Fruitfulness is a sign that God is not a liar. His integrity is at the mercy of your fruitfulness to be validated here on earth that he's not a liar. God is a God that expects fruitfulness. He gave a parable of the talents. Matthew 25. He gave unto one five, two and one. He expected multiplication. He expected fruitfulness. The first manifestation of the blessing that he gave man is be fruitful. Are we together? Not just subdue. Not just have dominion. Be fruitful. It was not a suggestion. It was a command. Meaning I have put in you all the resources that will take to produce a life of fruitfulness. Genesis chapter 12. Now the Lord had said to Abraham, this is the Lord having an encounter with an idol worshiper whose life is about to change. Who will epitomize greatness for the believer? Who will become the portrait of God's idea of greatness? A portrait of God's idea of a blessed man. A portrait of God's idea of success. A portrait of God's idea of a balanced Christian life that is both useful to the advancement of the kingdom 
and at the same time to humanity he says now the lord had said unto abraham get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that i will show you verse 2 as at this time this was this was not yet his experience it was god's proposal to him come out of a system and submit yourself through a season of dealing and if you successfully pass through that this will be the result verse 2 and i will make of thee a great nation and i will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing verse 3 and then we we'll stop there and i will bless them that bless thee and curse him that cursed thee and in thee shall how many all the families of the earth be blessed in you through you with reference to you as a foundation as a cornerstone the entire race the entire globe will be blessed now i like us to observe certain things here god meets an idol worshiper with his philosophies with his ideas are we together now having a little influence you would call him a local champion he was not a weak man he was not a failure as it were an idol worshiper and then he tells him let's go to verse one again abraham number one your name is wrong number two your life your philosophies everything i thought he would just beat him and say abraham i have great plans for you the thoughts that i have for you even if you know it i mean he said abraham the first requirement will be to leave your status quo your system listen in the economy of god and in the dealings of god when god begins to do business with a man he never uses you as you are please understand this you come as you are but you are never sent as you are you come as you are and then the first thing god proves in you is humility and meekness the beginning of the dealings of god in the life of a man the the starting point is when god sees that there is sufficient grace for humility and teachability this man was not a failure this man was a local champion in his own respect an idol worshiper a diviner an invoker of the heavens could manipulate strange powers to his advantage and here comes a word from a deity who calls himself the god of the hebrews and he says abraham get thee out you know how painful it is get thee out abraham i know this philosophy has worked for you but before i introduce a higher perspective get thee out i preached a message years ago from this scripture called come out of your father's house now many believers in the kingdom please listen carefully many believers in the kingdom when we come to god number one we come with our pride hoping that we are okay by ourselves then number two we hope that he will only add to what the garbages that culture the garbages that our mistakes our failures have given to us and we say lord i am here um let's just continue the classes and god says i don't know who that lecturer was but when i come to you even if you have been 10 years in this business my first requirement is that i isolate you you have to come out of that system you have to come out of that way of doing things we're talking about fruitfulness let's understudy abraham very carefully because the bible tells us please give us isaiah 51 and verse 1 and 2 the bible gives us an assignment that every time we want to study success fruitfulness greatness in the kingdom he gives us a figure it personifies God's idea of a life of impact in a figure and then he, this is what he says um, let's go to verse 2 he says look unto Abraham understudy him look unto Abraham your father and unto Sarah that bear you he says for I called him alone huh? and blessed him you see 
God is speaking in summary but it didn't happen as immediate as that I called him I blessed him I increased him three things I called him I blessed him I increased him I called him I blessed him I increased him this is knowledge when you now begin to seek understanding you know that it's not just I called him I blessed him that call in its own is a subject that is worth studying Abraham leave your father's house that's part of I called him are we together now and then it says I blessed him and increased him in other words he is my idea of a man truly called of God he's my idea of a man truly blessed of God and is my idea of a man who has experienced increase then he says look unto him if you want to experience his result that order of fruitfulness look unto him I hope you know Abraham experienced barrenness in his life physical barrenness and that qualifies him to truly be a replica or a portrait of God's idea of fruitfulness when God calls you listen to me whether in ministry whether in business whether in career when God calls you you don't answer that call as a champion you don't answer that call as a colleague the moment God calls you he begins to scan through your life until he finds meekness everybody say meekness until he finds humility everybody say humility the first price the first genuine price for fruitfulness is not quoting scripture it's not even applying principles it's a state of meekness and humility write it down the first requirement anybody who will be fruitful who will produce extraordinary results in his life in your ministry in whatever it is you're doing knowledge is useless to a proud heart knowledge is useless understanding is useless wisdom is useless to a proud heart brothers and sisters i submit to you that there are many proud people in the body of christ proud men of god proud students proud young people are we together now proud elderly people when he calls you he requires humility your humility is your past and then he begins to communicate to you now this looks very simple but you find out how many people want to be great you ask them do you want to be great they say yes I want to be an anointed man I want to carry the anointing I want to carry revelation I want fame I want power no I'm showing you the system of God God's economy and how people are grafted into this enviable dimension of fruitfulness and greatness the foundation is a humble heart the foundation is a humble heart Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 <coughs> Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 it says let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts to the lord it says let the word of christ dwell in you richly listen carefully the word of christ will never be able to pass through the entrance of your heart when there is pride and arrogance pride and arrogance pride and arrogance i know i think i know there are so many people that one single communication of humility would be the key to the next level but i know oh i'm educated enough i know look i'm not a child let me tell you something the moment submission becomes an embarrassment to you is a sign you are not a candidate for fruitfulness at all not just submission to a person submission to doctrines submission to mentorship submission to the teaching ministry of the spirit this i know mentality 
is the reason why many people keep failing in life i know my father is a pastor or was a pastor i know i was a bible study coordinator when i was on campus i know i married a pastor my husband is a pastor i know this and that you see all sorts of arrogant people many of us young people are arrogant i know i know what to do i know how to do this and we keep messing up and failing again and again sadly many of our parents i know and they have been balanced bringing forward seasons of failure and repeating it again with this i know mentality there's nothing i know that drives the spirit of god like a a proud and a haughty and a boastful heart do you want to be fruitful the first key is not just knowledge the first key is not even the leading of the spirit the first key is a broken and a contrite heart i show you the secret of great men they are they are the fortitude to break down and tremble before god where you lose the ability to argue with god god i, I is it that you have forgotten let me remind you uh -uh. abraham i know you have servants abraham i know you have a wife abraham i know you are a local champion but i'm about to take you to a dimension you never dreamt of first requirement get thee out please give it to us again genesis 12 verse 1 get thee out of your father's house get thee out of your kindred get thee out of your pride get ye out of your cocoon of boastfulness get ye be out of your accolades i am a this i've held 10 crusades i am a man of god i am so 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 and so and so no get thee out of your country get thee out of your kindred get thee out of your father's house onto a land that i will show you are we together you want to be fruitful the first key is that disposition of humility everybody say grant me grace to be meek to be humble to be broken hallelujah i will never argue with god's opinion i'm too young i'm too small i'm too naive to argue with god's opinion he's the fountain of wisdom some of us have been trading this childlikeness this this reckless abandon for years and look what he's done look what he's done but there are many of us who are too big to learn at his feet too big to understand the precepts of the kingdom and we find out that we keep going around the wilderness almost forever number two genesis chapter 12 verse 1 still the second key listen the second key to the journey of fruitfulness the journey of greatness is total trust and confidence ah. i will go i will go anywhere you lead me yeah. i will go Lord, I will go, I will go, anywhere you need me, yeah. I will go. One more time. I will go, I will go, I will go, I will go, anywhere you need me. tell you something in God's economy he does not owe you explanation as to all the details of the journey the name of the mission is follow me the God I serve will never give you detailed instructions when you meet with God he doesn't start telling you one day he shows you the end and leaves you there he will never tell you what the process will be the mission is follow me why will i leave something i am sure of 
into something I am unsure of. I'm sure of my country. I'm sure of my kindred. I'm sure of my father's house. Are we together? You are sure of your certificate. You are sure of the support of your parents. You are sure that if you fail and there is no job, your elder sister can be giving you 20,000. Then he tells you, come out. To wear a land that I will show you. Do you know what it means to ask an adult, Oga, where are you going? He says, I'm following God. <laughs> he says, I know, I understand where to. And he says, honestly, let me be sincere with you. The only thing I know is the end of this journey. I know that I will become a fruitful man. I know that my name will be great. I will be exceedingly fruitful. That's all I know. The, the dynamics of the journey has not been given to me. But I trust him. But I trust him. Many of you see great people and think God gave them the details. It's faith that opened up the details. Home. People started ministry. People, God sent people to lands. First night they slept under the bridge. What are you doing in Lagos sir? God sent me. You are a graduate. Come along with your certificate. He asked me to leave it at home. What are you now doing under the bridge? This is the only place I know in Lagos. Yet God said you will raise a people. Listen, a man who does not trust God will never experience fruitfulness. This our carnal, sensual generation that wants, oh God, you must show me how one plus one becomes two. The mission is follow me. If you trust him enough, follow me. I will go. I will go. Anywhere you lead me, hey, I will go. Listen, um, you know me, I'm a fan of responsibility. I like responsible people. But let me tell you something. Nobody's destiny appears from the beginning. The vision speaks in the end. It is follow me. I asked a Jimmy something one time. Hey, Jimmy, sorry, <clears throat> let me talk about you again. And Ejimi said something to me one time. He said, there is nothing as powerful as being close to somebody building something great. Nothing looks great from beginning. You only have the architectural plan, which is usually to you alone and maybe a few people. It is at the end when the vision becomes worthy of emulation. Then everybody starts saying, I used to know a Jimmy. I used to know Promise. I used to know Pastor Alpha. Don't worry, I know them. I remember when we we're taking Gary and so on and so forth. You see, we live in a world where we are too obsessed about results before we start. Somewhere along the journey, we should see results. But you will be nasty to ask for results from the beginning of the journey. What you ask for is the word of God. That's the currency you use to start your journey to greatness. Where is the greatness with a patch on your trouser? Where is the greatness with one palms? Where is the greatness when you cannot afford 100 naira to barb your hair? Where is the greatness where the only Bible you can afford is Gideon's International that was given free during evangelism? But I know he called me. I know there is greatness. I, I can't show you where it is. Where are the members? Where is the TV station? Where are the workers? They are in the loins of trust. I trust him. I trust him. My obedience of faith will eventually begin to bring them. God is speaking to someone who has refused to move for years because you are waiting for results. It's a joke. Nobody gets results as an inheritance. You get up and start walking on that water. It's as you walk on the water, it begins to part. If you are waiting for it to part before you walk, you will die there at the Red Sea. Because Pharaoh is coming. Tell the people of Israel to move forward. The Bible says he parted the river with the breath of his nostrils. Did you see his nose physically? It was a revelation that was given to a man. So he was standing and waiting for them. And I can imagine Moses coming. Over 2.5 million people. 
in the next five minutes you can be a dead man for bringing such a stupid news from the presence of God to people who know that within 24 hours the chariots of Pharaoh will come back to kill them and Moses said look this is what God told me move forward now Bible history tells us that they start they entered the water and started moving when you watch your films or cartoons they just show the water part and the people smiling you don't need faith to smile and move when you can see dry land someone had to enter and say look if you people don't see me again know that I died believing and God says that's the person initiating me trust Himarama. Hey. Himarama. You are seated on the throne you are seated on the throne. Listen, listen. If you had seen me 15 years ago, there are people who know me. Some of the things you celebrate today was not there. Everything was in the loins of the foolishness. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Who told you you are the first to be given that instruction? Are you the first gentleman to be established? Oh, I'm taking it easy. You know, a, a job has not come yet. And uh, you know the way we are. Please! I'm not a stupid person. I understand responsibility. The key to fruitfulness is, Lord, I trust you. If I perish, let it not be that I perished in robbery, But I perished. The first crusade that we were going to. No money. No nothing. We had just about 20 people. I've shared it with you. Some of our ladies were climbing the tree, firewood. Yet God told me one day I will bless nations. And people are climbing firewood. Don't use today to judge the prophecy on your life. It's a, it's a costly statement. Never use your result or lack of it now to mean God did not speak. When God speaks, he does not speak now. He looks at Gideon and says, Oh mighty man of failure. A man hiding under a chair. I'm bringing you intelligence tonight. Because there are many great men and women refusing to step out. Especially some of us brothers. I don't just mean step out carelessly. This fear factor must be broken. Nobody gives you guarantee. We're in a generation of, garant of guarantors. Open an account, I need a guarantor. Do business, I, I need a guarantor. What if something happens? Move on with your life. Start the building project. This risk averse, fearful mentality is a sign of carnality. It's not play it safe. In the kingdom, you play it as you trust him. When God says move, brothers and sisters, you close your eyes and step on that water and start moving. If it be thou, bid me come. And he said, Peter, come. Come, Peter. You've never done it. But it does not mean it cannot be done. There are many of us today. There are many of our families. There are many of our fathers who would have completed their building project now. God spoke to them 10 years ago. They had 100,000. God said, go, it can buy one tipa of sharp sand. Go and pour it on the land there and intimidate the devil. Say, no, 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 you know, we're intelligent people. We went to school. You don't build like that. And it's 20 years. The person who was a mechanic at the back of your house now has five houses. But somebody who cannot trust God. Listen, the raw material in God's economy is faith. 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 Not uncle. Not auntie. God uses men. But it comes from God through men to you. When you want it from men, you will die like a chicken. Are we together? Second key, trust. Let me tell you something. Except it's not the God of heaven you are going to walk with. No matter who assures you in the flesh, get set for fatal disappointment. God himself will orchestrate an event where all the strings will be cut and he will say walk. Have you seen how children walk? No matter how you love your child, a day will come you must allow that child walk. And truthfully speaking, 
the child will walk and even fall down and injure the person that does not mean walking is not a possibility you clean the wound and say stand up continue walking you don't tell people oh sorry you were building the house and rain washed it or you know or, no the church has become a weak place no results because we cannot trust God I trust God though, except I don't hear him if God says move there is no devil no devil in hell no devil in hell that can stop me because it is as you move that you commit him. your step of faith puts pressure on his integrity to prove to you go and ask any great man in the kingdom nobody gave him any assurance all this auxiliary faith you see people i love god but what they mean is there is one uncle the uncle promised me that when it gets too hot i should run back no you are not standing by faith after two days you are disturbing everybody calling everybody and saying look i, I trusted god it's just that the way this thing is no you are not serious i mean if i perish i perish lord i would know you for myself now if you don't give me this rent let me sit outside and you would think it's a joke you are bringing your mattress outside to sit and god says ah this realm of trust gone are the days we used growing up we used to hear strange testimonies quarter to shame god vetoed with his integrity but now you don't hear those testimonies again because we never trust god that far we never trust god that far I was sharing with the school of ministry students uh, i can't remember when years ago when i was in kaduna I, I went to do something in kaduna and i was coming back to zaria my transport money was not complete i'm not saying you should do foolish things you do them at it as his word my transport money was not complete i was hungry and i said i'm standing at the road here and there's no assurance that anybody will give me transport there is a little restaurant there and food there is 15 era why stand and die here at least let me satisfy one of the two i entered and i ate beans and yam 15 naira. i knew i was in trouble brothers and sisters i remember standing at that road and the spirit of god spoke to me he said stop a car and enter i stopped a vehicle and i entered to zaria i didn't say hey, please uh, i'm a man of god there is a call of god on my life it's not clear now but i want you to trust me if i rise you will rise too if i eat you will eat too that's what we are doing now and we call faith i started engaging a conversation with someone when we passed jaji and we were on our way coming then later the man the driver now started asking people to gather their money together and give him i knew i was in trouble but i knew i was not alone are we together now money can fail you men can fail you but his presence and his word will never fail never fail never fail if your confidence is in what you have in your bank account then something is really you are on your way to being frustrated if your confidence is because of one gold you bought and smuggled under a box or one one shoe or one whatever it is your confidence must be in the name of the lord his presence are you getting blessed tonight do you know the gentleman i was talking with just said ah don't worry he didn't even ask me my name don't worry and he brought out the money for two of us paid i dropped at um what that place flyover flyover i stood there at least what i had I, I can't remember whether it could bring me or not and the holy spirit told me to enter a bus again i entered the bus someone paid it i stopped at northgate with the same money i was at kaduna it was a message listen i've done stupid things in my life there are times that i believe god well now i don't know whether it's god that spoke to me or not but i remember trekking from area bz to first bank by faith believing there's money in my account they were paying workers and i joined them and when it got to my turn they said there was no money i was not embarrassed i was walking my faith i didn't use that i knew that one day no problem i went there and they said sorry are you expecting a transfer i said yes 
it has not reflected no problem after wasting two hours of my time I thought it was a waste but now I know it was a school it was my school fees I was paying my tuition fee in the school of faith because there is nothing that God says today that cannot be done listen you don't grow just by reading the Bible there must be an experience that will force you force you for as long as all you are doing is just reading and quoting and counseling people counseling is easy but one day God will say Mr. Man you have been encouraging people to walk on that water and you have been sitting down today walk on this water and you have to stand up and walk everybody say Lord I trust you say it Lord I trust you say it one more time Lord I trust you government cannot assure anybody insurance cannot assure anybody this person talking to you is not daft I understand these things none of those things can ensure you a man who trusts the Lord can watch his house on fire and other people are saying hey catch him let him not have hypertension and say me hypertension where is the hand that builds the house in the first place I, I don't regret but he will enter and dance and rejoice with tears coming out of his eyes he said I can't lose sleep because my God has infinite supply now that's a man who has been worked on by the spirit high blood pressure depression is a sign of not trusting God period it's an uncomfortable truth but know it there are doctors here ask them young people now you see somebody of 21 years entering the hospital and talking to himself is it this room is it that are you, are you okay he says how can i be okay in life no you don't trust god so everybody wants this auxiliary thing ladies are looking for a man who has an evidence now shoe car estate it's a joke brothers are looking for a lady who is working to wage them while they are looking for a job look at what society is becoming a pastor is looking for quality members now we select the sheep it's not just God that brings the increase God brings the increase we choose we throw away some sheep to die then we choose the quality sheep make them whatever it is a pastor or elder or whatever to pin them down and we say we have faith that's nonsense faith is when weak people come to you like David in the cave of Adullam and you tell them look I see the grace and the hand of God in you and after three years you produce signs and wonders and they bless them there are people today God has used me to lift I will never be hungry till Jesus comes now you would think uh, he's just lucky no sir no sir the beauty is always at the end of it when you start out with God brothers and sisters you must trust him pray one minute and say Lord kill unbelief your ministry will depend on his word to grow your business stop harassing people to bless you give you money support you please believe in the name of the Lord and let him trust you hallelujah so he told Abraham told Abraham Abraham this is the deal I know you don't know me I'm not the idol you are worshipping leave these people let's go the Bible says while he was going Lot went with him followed him several things started happening in his life and he said look let's separate and he was on his way going no child do you know how many years Abraham waited from the time of the word to the time of the child you have only waited two years and nobody rests again 
Lord, you promised me that my husband is coming 2015. What happened with that vision that I saw? That he has not landed till now. You have prayed, you have sown seed. You see, that's what you see. People, you harass every man of God around you because they are the representatives of God that you see. Where is my husband? Where is my breakthrough? And God says, Look, wait thou on me. I will bring my word to pass. And no, no, no. Oh God, look, I need time. It's, his age is not on my side. How old are you? Are you learning something? The price of trust. Trust is hard work. Let me tell you something about trusting God. There are times you will ask him questions he will not answer. You will ask him questions about other people's situations he will answer. But he will never answer you on the matter. That's God for you. This is the God I serve. You will counsel someone now and hear him expressly. And counsel the person and say, my God. And say, Lord, I've been talking to you about this issue of my family. Then he goes silent again. Then another person comes. You, you can almost think it's a mistake that you are backsliding until another person comes for counseling. Then the heavens are open and you are hearing clearly and suggesting things. And someone is sending you a text and saying, Pastor Alpha, you are one of the greatest men of God I've met. And you are saying, Lord, look at this text. And I'm crying that you come and wipe my tears in this area. And he keeps quiet. Every time God is keeping quiet, he's watching you. Every time God is silent, I want you to know he's watching you. You know that song? Please take it lower, my voice. I want to sing the song. The keeper of Israel, he'll never sleep nor slumber. He's watching over me. The keeper of Israel, He'll never sleep nor slumber. He's watching over. Hannah, where is your child? My child is in my trust. Coming. My child is in my trust. Penina is laughing at me. Don't worry. My child is in my trust. Young man, where is your God? Where are the results? That at your age nothing is working you are making it look like serving god is a mockery don't worry there are times that god will allow people to finish talking nonsense then that's when he comes in majestically and lifts you in a way that everyone will see but many of us don't trust him let's admit it tonight and cry for greatness this ministry you see by the grace of god is a product of trust There are some of you who have lost things lost loved ones against the prophecy god told you keep trusting are we together keep trusting keep trusting because when you hold on and trust him overnight he will route your breakthrough truth to a, another way that you never thought possible Pay attention to what I'm teaching you. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit tonight. Because there are people here. This your complaint and shouting around everybody is not a blessing to heaven. You must learn to smile in the midst of the storm. It's a sign that you trust Him. There is nothing happening to you today that is new. Apostles have not eaten. There was a time in the Bible women were eating their children. You are not that hungry to cut a beautiful baby like this, our baby, and eat. Do you know what the Bible says? Can a mother forget a suckling child? Two women ate one child. What hunger. Then it was a turn to eat the child of the other one. And then the other one said, no, no, no. And the other woman said, not so. And they met a prophet of God. And he said, by this time, tomorrow. Is the training that takes time the manifestation happens overnight don't ever call god jehovah sharp sharp during training you are joking sharp 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 is during manifestation not training 
this foolishness that flies around the body of the body of Christ that is making us fools we want everything today once there is a little delay people say you don't have faith be careful many of the things you call lack of faith is a process in the spirit I've done a teaching here called the furnace of affliction many people are, are, are talking their nonsense let, let me tell you I'm old enough to know what speed and process is the path to the throne is the cross you will never dodge the cross and arrive at the throne if what you saw was a throne and you can't remember the experience of the cross start running away because that's not a throne satan wanted jesus to dodge the cross and get to the throne jesus said not so there is a protocol so brothers and sisters when you are carrying your cross like jesus and they are saying physician heal thyself you healed others you raise others what is wrong with you now don't answer them jesus didn't open his mouth wasting his time he just continued carrying his destiny are we together now because let me tell you brothers and sisters behind every glory there is a story you are writing your story now don't be ashamed of it keep trusting don't be ashamed that you did it and lie no people get people get sick and go and hide drugs they hide drugs and swallow and come and say for 20 years no don't be ashamed of your pain you are writing your story tomorrow you will stand before everybody and say you know me you know Saul you know Paul ah. Lord you took my pain away and then you gave me joy you're my peace my melody in the center of the storm you gave me a brand new song to sing to you that's why i will lift up my voice and sing yeah. seasons in your life what you are running away from today you will miss it tomorrow what you are going through today is what will sustain your greatness hear what I'm telling you I'm speaking to you by the spirit don't run away from your pain carry the cross pay the price pay it honorably don't tell lies I cannot afford Gary now it doesn't mean I'm irresponsible I'm a tighter. I trust God. I'm walking my way with integrity to fruitfulness. There are so many packaging and lies. You borrow 100,000, buy a shoe, buy hair, buy a shirt, buy suit, buy Bible, buy iPad, and say I'm in ministry. Or oh God, walk it slowly. You may, you may take pap for one week. Don't be ashamed. If a visitor wants to visit you don't beg your friend to go to his house and say that's my house don't be ashamed of your father your father is a carpenter your father is an iron bender <coughs> you are lying and saying your family are abroad don't ever don't be ashamed of your pain it is what validates your testimony tomorrow when you rise and people say you faked it someone say I knew him oh I knew that brother when he was tightening and soaking Gary. Rejoice not over me, my enemy. Christians, hear me. I know that you watch those who were your classmates. They are going and God is saying, wait back. Don't, don't cry. Don't ever find yourself crying. Because one step with his voice will over. It will give you 10 years result overnight many people will insult me for what i'm telling you now because it's an unconventional path but that's the path to the throne that's where we follow to be where we are today rejoice not over me my enemy stop this life of lies and packaging no the word is working whether you see results or not if you are sick go to the hospital with honor the healing ministry is still on your head it will come it will manifest
told you you will be a bishop over churches in nations and three years into the ministry you have 20 members don't lie and write online that you have 30 branches and 50 people why fake what will eventually be real Lord I trust you oh I trust you I trust you I trust you and I rejoice I'm not ashamed of my pain I'm not ashamed of where I am if all I can take today is Gary I take it with honor and pride if you visit me you will join me taking that Gary if you think you are too big no problem I honor you but don't rush my seasons let me go through it let me go through it I know we started ministry together now you have 1,000 members I have 10 members our anointings are not the same the higher the anointing the deeper the call the higher the anointing the more the greater the weight unhealthy comparison all kinds of things destroying the body of Christ when you want a genuine anointing you must be ready to dig deep you must be ready to dig deep there are times God will tell other come to sin other ladies will be moving and God will say you stay back and you say God you have started with me again God says just walk with me see let me tell you if your work with God does not cause you to ask questions you are not working with him because you you walk with God one day and say God what is this then he keeps quiet you are reaching your breaking point because a day will come you say Lord whether you ever bless me again or not since I've come this far I've, there's a way you enter fire it burns you there's nothing to burn again what made you cry yesterday is what will make you rejoice today that's spiritual maturity that's why you see men somebody persecutes you and says pastor alpha is not he he's, he's somebody who is doing this and that and he doesn't even pray about it you have sat in that fire long enough that fire has roasted every flesh there's nothing left there again this over consciousness the need to explain yourself is a sign that you have not been broken in his presence many people see manifestations like this like what is happening they desire it they put their hand on their head and then they think all to get it is to package 10,000 naira. is that what you pay for the school fees of your 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 school you package 10,000 naira, and no you can take an anointing but not a track record the track record must be even husband and wife you won't pass through this together no matter how close you are when it comes to this journey let me tell you I know you love yourselves but God will isolate you and put you it's amazing a husband and his wife can be married but be going through experiences both of them cannot explain to themselves that's the dealings of God that's why you must be sensitive that's why we say people must be born again to marry and serious with God because of these seasons a time will happen you get up in the morning and see your husband like a madman strolling in front of the parlor don't think he's stupid it's not depression it's a season even him he cannot articulate the name of what is happening to him and women like knowing my husband what is it that I'm not cooking well for he says look you are too innocent to be carried into this furnace just stay there when I win I will let you know And the man says, this is the valley of the shadow of death. I can't watch you and my innocent children or whoever just stay there. And you see him wake up. Time to eat a delicious meal. He just turns that plate upside down. And there's no appetite. Listen, the training of a spiritual man is hard. This is why you talk about them in the secret. God will punish you in the open. You don't know what happened. It's a covenant. Pain is a covenant in the realm of the spirit psalm 50 verse 5 gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice for every time you cry and still trust him it's a covenant you are entering with him you may not know for every time he did not show up and people say where is your god and you frown back in shame and say lord i didn't have an answer for them but you are still my god it's a covenant you are entering somebody insults that altar is a joke i taught you on altars last week no sir that's why when you hear certain men of god talk you think he's pride you may not respect them 
but respect the blood on their altar because there is blood there God will not give you a mic and call people just because you think you have been in ministry for years no sir you don't like tonight's message it doesn't look very nice I show you the making of spiritual people you want fruitfulness it's not just a key point a b c d i'm leading you some of you i'm revealing to you what you are about to enter because it's a season god said it's your year of triumph welcome to the season when the other side of the training will start it's not a cause listen listen hold on there is a difference between temptation and trials listen let me correct something here god never tempts people where you see tempt written with respect to god it was an error in translation temptation is a trap trial is a test is an exam God will never tempt you the goal of temptation is to destroy you the goal of a trial is to build you are we together now when those seasons come do not think it is unusual you want power you want grace you want to prophesy to someone you want to speak over people and let them come to testify brothers and sisters it's not suit and tie it's not designers it's a track record it's blood and tears and pain you want god to give you the wealth of nations overnight it will not happen just by luck everybody say trust <laughs> say trust genesis 17 Let's read from verse 1 to 6. Thank you, darling. Genesis 17, quickly. When Abraham was how old? 90 years old. Bible students, how was he? How old was he when God called him? Help me. 75. 90 years old. Abraham had not yet seen that promise and that blessing. And he was still walking. God came and just reminded him. Hey, my God. When Abraham was 90 years old and 9. 100 minus 1. The Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him. I am the almighty God. Walk thou before me and be perfect. We are reading to verse 6. And I will make my covenant between me and thee. And I will multiply thee. What? Say fruitfulness. I will multiply you after waiting so long I will still do it exceedingly verse 3 and Abraham fell on his face and God talked with him saying we are reading to verse 6 as for me behold my covenant is with thee Abraham remember the discussion we had in chapter 12 I came to remind you that it's still in force although your life has not seen it continue don't give up let me tell you how to know God is leading you sometimes in the midst of that fire help will not come it's a reminder you know how an alarm is tan 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 i know that fire is roasting you but just calm down i'm still alive god where are you i've always been there watching you so he's reminding abraham thou shalt be a father of many nations just an updated translation of genesis 12. read on neither shall thy name anymore be called abraham but thy name shall be called what abraham for a father of many nations have i made thee verse six and i will make thee exceedingly fruitful and i will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee abraham continue abraham continue it's been five years oh god every brother that wants to come to me you drive him away god says i know exactly what i'm doing just keep walking why are you doing this to me and god says continue to walk brothers and sisters there is one thing i can tell you the dealings of god with men is like pregnancy you've seen a woman pregnant a woman does not throw away her pregnancy because she's vomiting blood because she's coughing because she's doing whatever you will still carry it whether they are twins or triplets you won't beg that one child should come to your head because they are heavy you are still going to god has put an exact position where that child must stay 
if you had a choice you would transfer it to your head to make it easy but that's not God's way you will leave that child there that pregnancy will twist you you who used to be a nice beautiful lady still carry the pregnancy the pregnancy will force you to want food that is smelling smoke you who will not even eat food but now the pregnancy has so deshaped you and redefined your appetites keep going because when that child is born it is the giving birth that will bring people to you they won't just come to visit you for nothing except God has not spoken you will see triumph this year forget whatever it is that is happening except the God of heaven has not spoken you will see it happen I trust him I trust him I trust him trust him show us the ancient past would you lead us along eternal highway we want to walk in the footsteps of Jesus we want to enter your rest show us the ancient past would you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of jesus we want to enter your I wish I didn't have to preach this today I wish I could just tell you all there was to success and fruitfulness is just drop money receive an impartation let it roll you on the ground and all of a sudden listen this is a painful key to a sustainable destiny there tonight there's no male and female if you want to pass through that road you are genderless when it comes to that that deal you won't say reduce the training because i'm a woman there is no woman in this process because you are working with your spirit you will pass through don't let your tears stop you <clears throat> you may cry oh, but continue god is speaking to someone don't let your tears ever stop you don't let the naysayers bring words to you and say i thought you claim you are called and then because of that you now say okay let me organize a seven days prayer meeting to prove to these people i'm called god didn't send you you are now compounding both fullness of affliction and temptation you are joining them together to kill yourself no. satan came when jesus was hungry and thirsty and said if you are the son of god turn this stone to bread he had the power to make it happen he said no I don't have to prove it the voice has already declared it with power that I'm the son of God trust 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 submission brokenness then the next step trust please sit down let me give you two more and then we'll pray the third key to being fruitful is an encounter with the spirit of revelation write it down the third key to being fruitful is an encounter with the spirit of revelation when you trust God and you begin to walk with him he will use your life and use everything around you to begin to expose you to the manifestation of the spirit of revelation the spirit of revelation is not knowledge the spirit of revelation is not knowledge the spirit of revelation brings you into not just an awareness but um how do i put it now it is it's really the word intercourse is the word koinonia is sharing together with that information such that you are not just aware you become an expression of it the spirit of revelation 
God begins to show you how things work and because you are already broken and you are at your low estate there will not be pride and argument you will listen he will speak to you he will guide you precept upon precept he will lead you to a book a book by a man of God you would have never bought in your times of pride but now because you have been broken you will go and sit down and settle down on that book you are learning while you are learning nothing yet as at yet is happening but you are building knowledge understanding revelation insight insight is very important if you must bear fruit listen the birth of anything valuable is painful anything valuable you don't mind gold on the surface right you dig deep there are certain levels of insight no matter how much you are a christian god will not just hand it over to you at a platter of gold there is a posture you must take in the spirit to appreciate it so god will wait you may hear a man of god preach it but it will be unfruitful to you until a season activates the need for it then god now begins to bring you that revelation and it starts making sense yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death you have been reading it you recited it when you were in sunday school but now that you are really in the valley of the shadow of death that scripture means a lot to you i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me and the word comes with light I remember the time we gave an instruction to dance i know that many people didn't do it do you know why because there's no need for it in their life you see if i give you touch light in the daytime you will appreciate me and just throw it away and even forget where it is but if nepa takes light you'll be looking for your phone the slightest light you will crawl and not be ashamed to look for it it is wasteful to supply people light that they have not yet communicated a need for they won't appreciate it you know growing up in ministry i always wondered why in pastors conferences when a man of god is preaching he can say something simple and you see pastors crying they are usually the ones standing up when a man of god is preaching and someone there is just laughing and say guy this man has energy to be standing up then the person laughing now marries a pastor you see that and after five years of hellfire the next time they go for a conference they say let's wave our hands the person is rolling Yo, wave your hands to god and say, i can't wave my hands oh god wave my hand is what i do in my room i will roll here because you have now seen the need for that revelation some of you what you are hearing today will not be applicable to you today the holy spirit will store it in a bank it will be after four years huh four years one night you will pant after this message you will find it you will gasp for it you will borrow phones borrow lantern and sit down and listen to it the price of revelation the bible says, buy the truth everybody say the truth is costly say it again the truth is costly yes it will cost you time listen you don't attract to your life what you love you attract to your life what you respect to love a thing is to find it desirable to respect a thing is to find it valuable there are two different things you never attract to your life what you love you attract to your life what you honor what you respect to love a thing or a person is to find that thing or that person desirable an emotional connect but to respect a thing is to find it valuable it's a right for these words are faithful and true i've been a student in the school of revelation this bible you see when i'm lying down to sleep is on my bed when i wake up is following me wherever i am. forget how old you are seeing it like this this bible has I've worked with this Bible for a while and I have found secrets therein. Secrets that can turn any man
to become every word that God spoke concerning him. Nobody will spoon feed you. Thank God for devotionals. Thank God for um, Esau. Thank God for concordances. But brothers and sisters, if you want to know God, you want to grow in the world, you have to sit down. This spoon feeding of believers. Now, I, of course, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not against access to devices and things that will help us but there is nothing that will replace sitting down in one place and giving the word time i'm too busy i'm too busy then you see your life nose diving they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh some of you open your bible only on friday during koinonia you close it on friday only to open it on friday again or on sunday that's not a good testimony let me tell you you will need to be serious with the word of God. This is like a treasure chest. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. I will sing. I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing now for joy. I will sing. I will sing of the wonders of your word. Whatever you spend time with, you become that thing. You spend time in a beer parlor, you become a drunkard. You don't become a pilot in a beer parlor. You spend time in a beer parlor, you become. You spend time playing games, computer games, you become a computer game professional. You spend time in the farm, you become. You don't become a doctor. You spend time in his presence, you become an envoy. That's what happens. A testament that the word of God is alive. Spend time in his presence. Don't say I'm busy doing what? God gave you 24 hours to seek him. If you are seeking him properly, it is enough. Some of us are snoring away our destinies when we should be seeking him some of us are eating away our destinies when you should be seeking him some of us are gisting and gossiping away our destinies when we should be seeking him i'd like you to pray and say lord restore my passion for scripture pray pray before we continue restore my passion for scripture i don't know what happened to me but lord restore my passion for scripture the excuses that i give the laziness this spiritual inertia that came upon me and is making me barren and unfruitful in the world you are a pastor pray this prayer twice because you can be studying the bible just to get messages not to encounter god and not to grow you are a man of god here you are a ministry pray twice hallelujah psalms 82 verse 5 to 7 says they know not please give it to us psalms 82 and verse 5 they know not neither will they understand it says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course I want us to look at verse 5 in Amplified. If it's possible, please give it to us. If it's not possible, then we'll just go. Let's look at it. I want you to see the way Amplified puts it. The magistrates and judges know not. Neither will they understand. Listen. They walk on in the darkness of complacent satisfaction. And then he says, 
all the foundations of the earth the fundamental principles upon which rest administration and justice are shaking please go back to king james verse 6 says have i not said regardless of your state it does not change my prophecy your lack of revelation and understanding robs you but my prophecy still remains the same have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high verse 7 tragedy it says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes so i have said you are gods but it doesn't mean you will manifest it between prophecy and manifestation is access to revelation understanding the working knowledge of the word the epignosis we call it many times god delays your lifting to help you understand the laws you are you are going to be working with like tools god delays your lifting to help you understand these laws you don't learn these laws when you are on stage no life is very unforgiving for the unprepared so he delays you a bit yeah. and keeps you so that you will learn it you never knew that praise was a weapon you thought it was something they do before messages come and then in that cave of adulam the spirit of revelation comes to you and says look praise is not just about singing songs dancing is not just about moving your body clapping is not just about making sounds and he begins to teach you that your tears are a mystery in the spirit your laughter is a mystery in the spirit and all of a sudden you see situations that can crash your life down and the spirit of god tells you laugh now because you know this law you will not think you are you are you are you are mad you will laugh do you know in psalm 2 let me show you something about laughter laughter is a mystery the irony is that every time god wants to judge he laughs before he starts judgment psalm 2 give it to us why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing next verse the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the lord and against his anointed saying let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us verse 4 he that seated in the heavens shall do what help me shall do what if we ask promise come if i ask promise to stand here and i say promise talk to us and all of us start laughing at him i mean real laugh some of you the way you laugh if somebody he can even cry just watching you laugh now imagine all of us keep laughing at him what do you think will happen to him let me tell you something about laughter laughter is a weapon that disarms the devil it's a it's a dangerous spiritual arsenal that believers do not know the Bible says, rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, rejoice. When you see people under the anointing, you see them laughing. You know the trouble that they were complaining of before they fell under the anointing. They are laughing and they stand up and they are ashamed of themselves. They are cleaning their powder and they are, they are instead of them to rejoice, whatever made the Holy Ghost to make you laugh. Don't you think it's a good thing? Because when God laughs, start rejoicing but the enemies his enemies who have made themselves your enemies as i'm going to be showing you now he that seated in the heavens shall laugh the lord shall have them in derision verse 5 after laughing then he shall what speak to them don't worry this is a ministry of signs and wonders you know that then he shall speak to them this laughter you see that is happening is by the spirit don't think people are faking it for those of you who are new it's the it's of the spirit right remember the bible says and the lord walking with them confirming the word so as the spirit of god is speaking this is what is called this is not a miracle these are signs and wonders It's a ministry where as you are speaking there is a grace for performance it's a sign to both believers and unbelievers to show the level of accuracy of the person speaking and to show that this is truly of god are we together now i'm explaining it to you 
so you see she's not the only person who will laugh you'll see people laugh all around but it is by the spirit you can't sit down and be laughing like this that's a beautiful lady if she should watch herself laughing like that she will stop so this is by the spirit it's all right let's let's continue after laughing after laughing what do you think you will do then she shall speak to them in what so that laughter was not just because he's happy he's laughing at what he as a as a principle before you know how somebody's about to beat you <laughs> let me just smile that's what god is doing there it's in your bible i'm showing you mysteries mysteries that all, that's why the first sign of the spirit of depression ask doctors is the absence of laughter when two people are fighting what's the first thing that disappears not love laughter laughter so you turn your way i turn my way and the devil is happy but all of a sudden you see your result or your boss tells you we are going to downsize people and your name is on the list we have been eyeing you we are hoping to drive you and now that we are found and you just tell him god bless you sir you say I, i'm talking and you are still smiling no no i'm not smiling at you sir i'm just god is faithful i'm smiling because i know my god is alive not a sarcastic laugh but a laugh in confidence a brother comes and said i've changed my mind i will marry you again and it's okay god be the glory you can laugh with tears coming out of your eyes just do it it's a mystery it's not about i feel like you are engaging a mystery when you tight you don't feel like you are moved by that revelation listen there are many cheap pathways to victory in the spirit that we do not know some of you hate those that are always happy and laughing the bible says, a merry heart a merry heart not just a merry mouth not just a merry faith your heart can laugh too your heart can be happy and it will show i'm not talking of this clownish thing you can be happy the joy of the lord this depression that many of us are carrying you don't know that depression is like a door that you open for the spirit of darkness and it sits on your destiny you never see me frowning and pulling my face as if the whole world is falling god is alive two of us can't be awake if he's awake i sleep And then judgment follows immediately there are times what you need to do is to write a request of all the things that have mocked you and laugh before God and say Lord I've cried but I won't cry again and laugh before him switch to dancing switch to praise musician or not if you cannot sing find this high Igbo praise high Igbo praise those people did not produce that album for money you, you you see the consecration in their lives you know they meant it the, the the scriptures they quote before the song starts that's that's called warfare praise don't let people tell you there is no such thing right psalms 149 let the high praise of god be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands there is a warfare dimension of praise when all else fails switch to praise dance your life and turn every hell around the same way Yoruba people dance before a rich man they play drums and dance he wants to enter his car they call his name and shake their head and dance before you know it he will reach out to his pocket and bring out what he did not plan for was it not a lady that danced before Herod what is it about her dance she danced before Herod and removed the head of a prophet what is troubling you is not a prophet. Can I remove the head? Kenneth Copeland asked Bishop Oyedeko and said, you claim we are the ones who mentored you in the word of faith. But why is it that God has given you this increase? So much members. And Bishop Oyedeko said, he danced every one person in this church into that place. See, let me tell you, I don't like dancing. God, I, I, you know, you look at me and you know that I don't have that gift. But it's a weapon. Do you use a weapon just because you like it? You use it for efficiency. 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 Knowledge of the principles of the kingdom. So you know what to do. 
your rent is expiring that's not the time to pray wrong spiritual approach no it's too late you would have been praying since you saw the signal you have been having a lot of dreams the moment it is quarter to shape don't pray dance rejoice please learn this thing i'm teaching you the weapons of war he said with wise counsel make war dance quarter to shape get one coin on your message get one worship team people come and give them honorarium let them record something and sing and dance put it in your pocket if all your phone has is movies and games you are not ready for life you must have these arsenals in place so that the moment the devil strikes you know the song already you bring it out hallelujah and you watch battles turn around overnight overnight battles turn around overnight listen you want to be fruitful the longest period of your waiting process will be invested in knowledge spiritual intelligence knowledge you have trusted god you are humble but let me tell you the classes of the realm of the spirit is not semester by semester you see that it's a product of many things god's course is not three credit load it is your desire that can turn it into three credit six credit you can do a lecture two weeks and you have finished a class and the next class is two years you stay there god's classes is not like a an exact period of three three months no way you can be two years in a class he will give you break then you do another elective and call you back not to a higher cost the same cost let's continue lord i thought we finished no we finished what let's continue but when you are done you will see the value of that thing for a student you can miss a few lectures and read quickly during exam and make up in the school of the spirit you miss one class that class you have missed will show in your destiny that lecture you did not attend the floor will be very clear in your destiny god's god's dossier for attendance must be hundred percent even if you have graduated and you have 89 percent you must complete that remaining that's why some of you will be embarrassed that after many years you see god drawing you to certain things that you think are basic just walk with him walk with him and sit quietly and let him deal with you you think that you have finished the issue of the flesh and then one day as a great man of god god calls you for a fresh lecture and the theme of the lecture is crucifying the flesh and you start again don't fight him be humble and stay say lord help you thought you have overcome loss for money and then after 20 years of ministry god asks you to go for a retreat and you don't talk about pride whatever god says i just want to kill the influence of mammon and you say lord i thought when i started with you say we didn't finish that course i only gave you a break or you stop attending lectures but now that you are ready to come back you don't do superstar with god if you miss lectures for 10 years the day you meet with God again, you go back and continue from where you started. Now, men don't expect you to go back. This is the challenge I have with celebrities who become born again. Someone was a secular, for instance, a secular musician. Are, are we together now? And then the guy gets born again. And then you bring him to church. And he's already used to the flamboyancy of stage life. Then you make him music director. No way. If he comes to church he must join if you have a foundation class he must go through that principle and learn and know god that his gifted is not enough is he spiritual it takes time to be spiritual you don't impart spirituality hallelujah everybody say revelation say knowledge when you see a man that is full of light and revelation when god gives the green light Look at David. David was in the wilderness. And God kept training him with the sleep. The moment it was time to destroy Goliath, he went with confidence. When you shake in the time of battle, it's a sign that you are not sure of your arsenals. Are we together now? 
and he defeated Goliath effortlessly. My personal goal is to have access to the mysteries, as many, if not all, that I will need for my life and destiny and to fulfill God's call for my life so that no matter what arises before it lands is meeting a mystery mysteries are not words that I coined out that's the name of the system of God's operation he operates in mysteries Matthew 13 verse 11 it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom Matthew 13 11 it has been given to you we do business in this kingdom on the strength of the mysteries that we know someone looks at you and says promise you will never rise in this life that person is not just making an empty statement that person is speaking on the strength of something maybe divination you don't just stand and say it will never happen it will happen until you have a mystery an understanding something you know that can oppose it are we together now yes if I push this guy he should fall down but if he's stronger than me he can create another force that will resist whatever I'm trying to do then he will stand you don't stand in life not holding anything and dare the devil and dare witches and wizards like many arrogant people are doing in the body of Christ if you know you have power come and kill us in the village and you hear silence no answer the only thing you see is that after one week the only thing you can do is to see you can't talk you can't stand you can't stand up you can't walk that was the answer from the realm of the spirit to you and saying be careful make sure you see God before you stand before Pharaoh but by the grace of God with the training you are receiving here let me tell you I pity whoever rises against you one dance one dance one hour of proper dance in the presence of God will crumble that person to his knees I tell you this don't just hear these things alone a devourer is coming you pick up your tithe and say Lord I am a titan I am a titan I stand as a family we are titans my business is a tithing business devourer I rebuke you and Satan says he knows he knows he understands you can be a titan and he will still destroy you you speak based on knowledge the Bible says knowledge uh, how did he put it wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times what do you know that can bail you out in this period of languishing recession and pain What do you do when you are the only person who is born again in your family and everybody is opposing you? Do you know there is something you can engage? Please, everybody, say after me. Excuse me. Say after me. In the name of Jesus. What I need to do in the face of danger, in the face of challenges, I receive access to it. It is costly to stand stupefied watching life not knowing what to do he said Jesus himself knew what to do Jesus himself knew what to do you find out that you've been married six months people are asking you madam we are not seeing anything don't worry don't start getting angry and saying what is your business no just say Lord I give you thanks one year two years three years it looks like no child is coming don't start being cynical and see every woman with a child and you are angry and saying they are laughing at me no father I give you praise start practicing the law of honor you see pastor Alpha and his wife and their child what do this child want oh this child needs a shoe you quickly go and buy the shoe you are engaging mystery see waiting for things to change I told you is the secret of frustration you engage you only wait when you know you are engaging some of us have been sitting waiting if you are waiting to know what to do then that's wise if you are waiting for things to change apostle nobody is coming to marry me engage engage do something engage doesn't mean to travel and go to 
a married man's house somewhere to engage means find someone who has married find a family find one mother somewhere you see our mothers all around one day you can find a mother package five for life package something wrap her and say mommy please I see that you are married with seven children they are all alive and they are responsible that grace upon your life I've taught you commanding result these are the various mysteries you must be treating for you to rise and you engage it the woman will just hold it and say my daughter may God bless you I bless you I remember it was Pastor Corey de Komaya that was sharing a story he has twins and um, um, was Bishop Aremu of Living Faith you know I think they have twins too and one time his wife was with the wife of Bishop Aremu and then she looked at her and said you Seth uh -uh, you've not given birth to, to uh, you've not given birth again and she said mommy no and she took her veil and stoned her with it she said take twins Joe like joke that's how she was pregnant with twins and gave birth with twins there are mantles so there are people who are carriers of your prayer point bodily they are working in it when you know how to tap into what your portion is you will find out that where, what is killing others you will walk over it there's no food in your house you find somebody who has enough to give and buy one mudu of gari and take to his house it looks like it's, it's not it's not correct but that's how we rise in the kingdom the lesser you have 500 naira left don't wait till it's 20 naira i don't know how one tier how much one tier of gari is you buy it buy lollipop for the children you don't even have to tell them that's why you came just like boy take once they open your lollipop and they're taking star rejoicing they are engaging a mystery Ay. brothers and sisters those who don't know the mysteries of the kingdom are the ones who remain you enter a place to start a ministry nobody knows you you are a young minister find the greatest ministry there orthodox or pentecostal quietly go and worship with them whether you believe what they are saying or not sit down under that atmosphere when you worship with them try to see if you can gain access to the man of god if you cannot put a small seed and so that atmosphere must open for your ministry because you are tapping into a grace you go to minister somewhere and there is a man of god with an unction higher than you recognize and honor him don't enter there and just say well we are all here and uh, i hear this person is around don't be stupid many young people do that and their heavens are closed and for that ministration they struggle you enter there are elderly people you appreciate them you are a small boy or small girl that god gave grace don't ignore them i appreciate everybody here and you find out boom your heaven is open but you go there arrogantly and you see people who are you may have more revelation than them it's not about revelation it's about status it's about a track record in the spirit are we getting blessed for every dimension you desire there is a mystery that controls it find out learn it find out it won't come as a gift it's a by the truth it will cost you you found out that nothing is working financially in your life don't say that's how every young man is it's a lie let me tell you the truth there are people look at me i say it with all humility there are people who have conquered poverty and lack forever it will never return till jesus comes make no mistakes of believing that everybody is struggling don't take people's humility for granted to think they are struggling there are people who left the realm of financial struggle since you tap into it listen to the materials don't sit down and say i'm we are all young people we are not i'm not talking of job listen do you know many people in the kingdom don't prosper god's way very few people in the kingdom prosper god's way so when they hear people like us talking like this they think we are just talking nonsense there is a way god grants you prosperity that no devil no gate of hell will turn it around not up today down tomorrow you are up and you have gone never to return back again may that be your testimony but do you know the key you want to start a church please help the people shouting outside you want to start a church you don't know the key to leadership 
there is an exceptional leader somewhere learn the mysteries we are going to rise up to pray shortly I thought I would be able to just um, take the last part but then even if we stop here that's alright access to light the mysteries of the kingdom the secrets of champions there are people who taught certain things in the spirit and receive certain strange results here on earth strange results I have seen people with a grace nothing finishes in their hands they may not like promise was said when he was raising the offering they may not be able to give you 100 million now but you will never come to their house remember what I was sharing last week a woman you see one mama selling akara with that akara she can bring out hundred thousand and give you you are doing three jobs hundred hundred thousand yet your money finishes there is a grace listen the final thing I'll talk about very quickly is tapping into certain dimensions of grace some things cannot be taught they are received but it's not just general anointing holy spirit come <clears throat> it's locating people who are carriers of these dimensions it must be working for somebody close to you have the humility to see it a gentleman met me some time ago and he said he wanted to buy a car i said really i said so what are you doing about it and he said he's saving i laughed i said that means you are not going to buy a car forever till jesus comes you see a young man and ask him you want to buy a land he say what are you doing he say I'm, I'm planning uh, for now I have hundred thousand you don't buy land by saving you buy land through favor whatever God gives you is not what you keep to buy land is what you engage correctly with that brings you to that level now many mainstream people again are going to insult me for this thing and don't forget all those stupid preachers because they collect land and money from people but I tell you this with the integrity of God. Psalm 45, 44, verse 3. Give us Psalm 44, verse 3. Let me show you how to acquire if God wants to give you grace. God wants to give you land. This is how it comes. Read if you're a Christian. Want to read? By their own sword. Uh huh neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand and thy arm the light of thy countenance because thou hast a favor this is how it happens this is how it happens there are graces you must tap into you don't have by default the baptism of the holy spirit will not bring those graces for you when you have revelation part of the things that revelation will give you is the ability to discern dr mike mudo calls it wisdom the ability to discern difference ah i've been a roommate with promise and i've noticed that my job pays more than his job but he's happier healthier with a lot of money is in my presence i watch people bringing favor it's a sign that there is a grace operating let me tell you something it may be your husband it may be your wife it will not jump on them just because it's your wife or husband you must consciously tap into it are we together now if if um come Marcelina if Marcelina has a grace for supernatural favor I can stand as an arrogant man of God preaching with no favor but through knowledge I want to be fruitful remember I want results I'm talking of extraordinary fruitfulness I will discern how do you discern observation observation of recurrent results in people's lives are a sign that there is the finger of God a woman has four five six children all of them are responsible and you know that it's not that the parents could train them well there is a grace you are about to get married as a young couple go and meet them kneel down help her make pepper soup do whatever you do mommy bless us you say ah no don't worry my children don't allow all that greeting to distract you kneel down and remain there till that hand comes on your head and you you can sow into her life 
you can say, Marcelina, sorry. Let me just help you and worship. Ah, no, I won't do this. You are a great woman of God. No. no, even if you are the person that got that person born again, with respect to what you want to receive, you are the lesser. So you must humble yourself to receive. Are we together? And you tap into that grace and that mantle lands on your head. You start producing extraordinary results. I'm like a fisherman. I know graces that are needed and where they are found. And when, I, when I'm pursuing a grace, I'm not embarrassed. That's what took me to Canaan land. To go and meet Bishop Oyedepo. That's what took me to Joss. To go and meet Renard Bonke. You, you fish unashamedly. You don't receive impartation from colleagues. Promise, promise. We are... We are... Uh, I remember when we were in secondary school. Can you bless me? I'm seeing something working in your life. What's it? Can you imagine? Can you imagine what he's doing? <laughs> Hallelujah. I didn't realize what he was doing. Praise God. There are people who are very foolish. Some of you, your parents are carrying the grace that you need for your next level. But you have not discerned it. You pass them every time. Mommy, I'm going for fellowship. May God help you. And she keeps wondering. When she was your age, 20 men were looking for her. You are almost twice her age. Nobody is coming. Tap. Tap into it. Somebody who lives in your neighborhood, all he has is primary school certificate. Yet in your presence, you are, you are joining others to say his money is, is charm. Because naysayers always find explanations once they see someone blessed they have to find something and say that thing eh? you see it jimmy just leave that guy that guy is uh, is a there is a spirit don't see every young man who is blessed and just think there, there are spirits all around this is the end time be careful be careful don't allow cynical people rob you of your blessings when you find out that there is a grace it doesn't have to be from a high man of God. Some of you this night, if you can turn and look at your roommate that you have been fighting with every day, in the midst of that fight, there is a grace. Tap into it. Be the one to cook the food tomorrow. What's the occasion? I noticed three of you in this room, there is the hand of God on your life. Sir, I notice there is no week that passes without you being favored. I want to tap into it. You may not have money. You have polish. You can polish his shoe. You don't have money. You have soap. You can wash. Find one sock. Whether it's clean or not. Soak it again and wash it. Lord, this I'm washing every nonsense out of my life. Results. Results. Your father may be a harsh man. Your mother may be a harsh man. But you have never seen them beg for bread. There are results in that area. Look away from the imperfections. Some of you, your pastors may not have the revelations you have. You even have higher revelations than them. Don't worry. There is something they carry. There are people no matter where they go to, in less than three weeks, somebody must find them and favor them. They have this grace for territory. Send them to the valley of the shadow of death. Before they land, an angel will be waiting there. Look for them and bless them so is it there are many people who want crowds look for mission agencies around there are mission agencies there are orphanages you want god to make your children correct that their brains will be working well find an orphanage buy one bag of rice drag it there and meet them the children may not tell you thank you they may not even recognize you you are not doing it just for that. Tap into it. I'm showing you how I live my life. You engage mysteries and come back home and start dancing and rejoicing. It's like a charm that has called all the blessings. They start following you and bulldoze any mountain standing by themselves. The principles will fight their way to bring the result to your life. Listen, if you are here and you are looking for a job and you don't have a job, start engaging mysteries now otherwise you will never get one please hear me are we together especially for brothers i'm waiting for a job you will wait forever 
engage mysteries if you don't know ask questions you want to start to start a business all you have is capital and a brain you are going to lose let me advise you don't even waste your time to start there are spiritual things we engage go and listen to my message spiritual intelligence settle things from the realm of the spirit before you start anytime you are in trouble don't start running to meet people physically settle it in the secret place you are in trouble the landlord is about to come and throw you out there is trouble your parents are going to court leave all those those things are shadows enter the secret place and correct it if it's something you need to invoke mercy invoke the mercy of god i've taught you about the mercy of god the mercy of god will turn is is god's divine partiality you should hang in the cross everybody knows you engage that mystery things turn around in a way that will surprise you hallelujah you see students here yeah, those who are students they will write exams they will not answer the questions but engage the right mysteries they come out from the exam cgpa 4.8 CGPA 4.7. You think these things are just guesswork? No. You engage mysteries. We are going to pray. Our time is gone. But I want you to cry for fruitfulness. And I want you to cry for discernment. Discernment to know how to tap into graces. Don't sit down and be barren. I've taught you brokenness. I've taught you humility. I've taught you trust. I've taught you revelation. You must come around the knowledge of the mysteries. And then I've taught you how to search for anointings and graces that will fast track your life. Rise up on your feet and cry passionately before the God of heaven. Pray. Hallelujah. Just three quick prayer points. Prayer point number one. Lord supernatural supply of grace to trust you i will never doubt you again whether i understand what you are doing or not i banish complaint from my life i banish grumbling from my life lift your voice and pray supernatural grace to trust pray Grace to trust you. Grace to trust you. Grace to trust you. Shena malada manana bos. Lena na masi na na. Shena na na. Shena na masi braga na bala na bala na na bala. I want to be extraordinarily fruitful, exceedingly fruitful. Shabrakata goso do paka shabrakata bala na bala. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Lord, the mysteries I need to know in this season for the next level of my results. Show me. Give me encounters. Lift your voice and start crying. Lift your voice and start crying to God. Show me, show me, open my eyes, make a parado kapraska dabalakaya, open down my eyes that I may behold one rustic out of your law. Show me the mysteries of wealth. Show me the mysteries of increase. Show me the mysteries of fruitfulness. The mysteries of restoration. The mysteries of peace. Show me the key, O oh God, to making things work in my life. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. The last prayer point, look up. Let me tell you sincerely, and I want to tell you this with all humility. Most of the graces you will need to produce the results that you need are available in this house. It's just that many of us have not had the discernment to tap. I'd like you to cry to God and say the grace that is deficient in my life that is responsible for this stagnation i open up my spirit through honor i open up my spirit through honor lift your voice pray this with wisdom the grace for the gift of men the ministry of helpers Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, I know that our time is gone, but I want us to pray. Listen, I want you to know that this house is a house of mantles this house is a house of strange graces you know just last week the lord did something in my life that he did something in my life that almost brought tears i said god what is this what is this what are you doing to me and the lord spoke to my ears and said i would do it to anybody who understands this jesus said Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. If Satan finds what belongs to him in you, he's authorized to destroy you. We are going to pray and we are going to say, Lord, whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny, I apply the blood. I invoke the mystery of the blood. Lift your voice and pray. Legal access. I apply the blood. Are you praying? I apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business on my ministry, on my job, I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Keep standing, everyone. We are going to pray now. I tell you, I'm angry in my spirit. Luke 18, verse 1. Please, quickly. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Verse 2. There's something I'm looking for. Saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God neither regarded man verse 3 and there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying avenge me of my adversary stop there God is a God of vengeance listen listen I know that's the nasty side of God but the God I serve is not only merciful God there are people who don't need mercy they need vengeance you don't pray if you don't believe it but let me tell you something there is a god of vengeance he said let god arise and let all his enemies be scattered lift your voice and cry lord avenge i cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life my family koinonia pray Arise, righteousness and justice at the foundations of his throne. Oh God.
God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against the wicked. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against evil doers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent. And he said they should go and hang him. He already built a gallow in advance. In advance. We live in a wicked world, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you, it's not all about vengeance, but there is a dimension of it that is necessary. If you must break through, the wickedness of men is beyond imagination. You are going to pray it again. Lord, there are powers that have tied down my life and my family. Arise, O God of vengeance. Arise, O God of vengeance. Arise, O God of vengeance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I was told the story of a woman, Pastor Jakes married a man that God had blessed and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banished her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no, you rejoice in my pain the God of vengeance will arise for you I tell you only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it he said rejoice not over me my enemies though I fall yet I will rise again how many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends they lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check sign them off Say destroy them. The Bible says a man's enemies. Listen, listen, listen. Koinonia, I know many of us are young people, but let me tell you, when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility, you will appreciate this prayer. There are men who will kill you and bury you smiling. They will kill you and bury you smiling. When Judas came to kiss Jesus, a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today they kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tightening. these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life Are we together? Tonight, I want us to engage the word. To engage the word with your spirit. If you insist, brothers and sisters, God will give you a breakthrough. If you insist, God will give you a breakthrough. Are we together now? I want you to pray one last prayer. And then I'll begin to minister by the spirit. Lord, visit the root cause of my challenges. I may not know what it is. I only know the effect. Oh God, go to the root. It says every tree. The axe is placed at the root. Every tree my father has not planted. Lord, go to the root cause 
of the barrenness in my life the root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands the root cause Are you praying? Shabakata la bosuma. Rekete koto shobre yeri bala 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 bala. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. If after tonight's meeting, you return with a testimony, nobody will ask you to run to the house of God. You will go by yourself. Do you know how many, why many people never seek God? The truth is they are tired of lack of results. They are tired of it. Jumping around, doing all kinds of things. Yes, you don't love God just for results. But you've heard me say it again. At a point in your Christian experience, results must come as consolations to your serving God. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight. Let me make an altar call. Let's start with the altar call first. So that we'll finish right now. Please, everyone standing, no moving around. Outside, your attention. There are people right here. Everything we boast of is in Christ. If you are not in Christ, there is no guarantee. Please listen very carefully. If you are not in Christ, there is no guarantee whatsoever. Are we together now? so you are here we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in Christ the Bible says he is in the kingdom of darkness the very domain of darkness are we together now so when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith there is a spiritual transfer it is only on that basis you can challenge darkness there are two cate categories of people very quickly. I'm going to make the altar call quickly. When you come, Pastor Jax will lead you in prayer. And then we'll take over and fly tonight. And trust God to take us to a realm where we will never return. Never return to this level. In the name of Jesus. You are here and you are saying, man of God, it's as if you are just prophesying to me. You are right. It's you I'm speaking to. And I'm going to make an altar call. One, maybe two, three minutes wherever you are outside i know there are lots of people you are saying man of god can god forgive me yes he can can god give me a new beginning absolutely no one has made it in my family you will be the first if and only you receive him he says as many as believed in him even to them that i mean as many as received him even to them that believed in him he gave them power to become power to become you do not have the power but you have the will and you can choose right now I'm going to make an altar call whether you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time or you want to rededicate your life man of God I gave my life to Christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out I will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat Give Jesus praise. Please clear the way for them. There are people running outside. Let Jesus Christ step into your destiny. Koinonia, can you motivate them? Appreciate them as they come. Don't let any friend tell you why you're disgracing yourself. Shame the devil over your life tonight. God bless you. Keep coming. Man of God, you don't know what I've done. Just make that step of faith and come. Quickly. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Keep coming. Keep coming. There are still more people. There are still more people. If you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you, leave him alone and come. Run to Jesus.
Hallelujah. Please, every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of for all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as your hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shared abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's Book of Life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please, let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister I have a sister also, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person one inside, one outside. I just want to speak to them. Please quickly, we have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seeing in the spirit. Mighty. Especially today, God is visiting visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting Visit us in a very strange way. Lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. Just keep your hands lifted. Please bring them. Just keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. God is touching people. 
a foolish instruction, but it's what the Lord is telling me. Just keep your hands lifted. Like fire. It's coming on people inside and outside. Bring them out. God is visiting visitors. 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 Doesn't mean other people are not being touched. But particularly visitors. Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. There are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives, their destinies, in the name that is above all names, whoever under the sound of my voice, inside and outside, if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life, as we shout that name, Jesus, there will be an eruption of fire in this place. And all of a sudden, God will begin ministering to people. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, three. They must go from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. At the sound of his voice, I command every spirit. I command every devil. Strange spirits tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, shakata bakata, under the yoke of setbacks, whether you are a visitor, whether you've been here for a long time, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. The power of God is touching people. Delay, 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 delay. You are a strange spirit. I curse you by the God of heaven. Delay in destiny. Delay in achievement. that spirit I cost that spirit I cost that spirit bring the mommy out there's a mighty deliverance happening to her delay over your family broken 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 by the spirit Hello Madonna Hello, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a strange instruction. Please, sisters, lay your hands on your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Something remarkable is going to happen here right now. There is a kind of deliverance God is doing. I don't know what I'm even doing. But Lord, I pray right now. This is not for everybody. But I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands. And I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now one two three release them now 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 Johnson Johnson I'm hearing a name Johnson 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 we are still praying please Johnson my God I tell you I see this fire falling on sisters I don't know what it is with ladies God is God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are here in this place. Listen. You never rise beyond a certain level. It's not that you don't start. Please listen carefully. I'm speaking by the spirit. The moment is like there is a spiritual embargo. You get to that height. You must crash down wherever you are. I'm prophesying now and I'm praying for you. The power of God is looking for those people. The power of God is looking for those people. You rise to a level and fall. You rise to a level and fall. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside, wherever you are, I release that fire like a messenger to your life. Like a messenger to your life. I cause that witchcraft. Now. I cast that witchcraft now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision. My God, hold on. I'm seeing deliverance for children. Like little children. The power of God is coming on small children in this place. I'm seeing children being delivered some initiated into occultism some initiated into this let's just walk the way god is father in the name of jesus i speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now i set them free now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My friend, lift your hands. That gentleman going. Tap him. Hi. There is hardship in your family. 
and the Lord is asking me to curse it. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse hardship. Let the anointing of the Spirit come on you now. I curse that spirit. The spirit of hardship. I curse you now. I curse you now. I curse you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen, if you are here and you have any blood disease, just blood disease, any kind, any kind, blood related issue, lay your hand on your chest. I want to pray for you right now. Blood related issue, genotype, whatever it is, um, or any kind of thing, maybe any sickness that is blood related. Please, I want to pray for you right now. The Lord is giving me that instruction very quickly. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a lady who is AS. God is about to change her genotype now. 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 A dramatic change of genotype from AS to SS from AS to AA by the Spirit by the Spirit by the Spirit hallelujah hallelujah please if you come from a family where no one in your family is working lift your hands nobody no job no but just please just do what i'm asking you to do let's save time just lift your hands nobody at all is working no matter what happens just lift your hands i want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 i'm i'm looking at hands lifted and and for some of the hands i'm seeing like a rope this is not necessarily you this is a representation of your family and i want to pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands get ready for the power of god right now wherever you are even those who didn't lift their hands i decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now right now right now right now right now i release them I release them. I release their jobs. I release their jobs by the power of the Holy Ghost. 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 The the Holy Ghost. We end joblessness here right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people. One seven, one seven, one seven at the count of four. This is the instruction God gives me unusual access to illumination. Lord, where are they inside and outside? One, ta -ba -ta 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 -ta. two, three, strange illumination. Four, take it now, take it now. The spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom on common access 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 i release it in the spirit access 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 hallelujah please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come God is going to use you. Come, come and stand here. Lift your hands. Stand up. In the name of Jesus, I don't know you, huh? But an anointing will come upon your life today. And God is going to change your life like day and night. Receive that grace right now. Strange grace. Step into that dimension. That dimension. There are impartations going on now. Let's just receive the impartations. Impartations. Not healings, not healings, impartations, impartations. I release the gifts of the spirit right now, right now. I release the gifts of the spirit. Lord, stir up the fountain, stir up the waters, stir up the waters, 
I release the gifts of the spirit. Strange gifts. Strange gifts. Strange manifestations of power. Of power. Healing anointings. Healing anointings. I activate healing anointings right now. Healing anointings. Step into it. Step into it. Outside. Inside. Step into it. God is releasing mantles. Mantles of healing. Ancient mantles of healing. Ancient mantles. Grace for barrenness. Grace for barrenness. Grace for barrenness. Healing barren cases. Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. God wants to release the healing anointing. Let's just stay here with this healing thing. God wants to release. There are many more people. I'm not seeing them receive it yet. Father, you want to release this grace. There is such a grace as the healing anointing. I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado. May the power of God come on you now. Everyone, everyone, everywhere, men, women, take it, take it, take it, fire upon your spirit. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come. I don't know how we are going to manage this now. Ushers, there is a prophecy for you. The Lord says I should tell you from now, as you hold people and as you shake them, there will be a transference on every one usher. I'm prophesying now. That's why I say I don't know what we'll do. Ushers, ushers, receive that mantle. Receive that mantle. A strange healing grace coming on our ushers. Supernatural. Supernatural, the unction. Take it, take it where you are. Let that fire come upon you, upon ushers in a strange way. Upon ushers in a strange way. The grace for the miraculous. No longer will you just hold people, no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats. You release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please, everyone, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why, please, keep your hands. I want to pray for you. Don't say I'm not calling to a businessman. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. It's a grace. It's a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a, mon a money monger, you just go, but strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you're a businessman or not is not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural access 
access access to business strategies access to ideas take it right now receive it receive it is coming on people receive it receive it receive it is coming on you so that you will go and prosper 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 there is a woman one of our mothers this grace that i'm talking about is coming on you now now one of our mothers one of our mothers is receiving that grace God is releasing that grace whether you are inside or outside whoever it is I release that grace now there is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit you must take that grace now you must take that grace now uncommon ability uncommon ability uncommon insight for the works of your hands to begin to produce fruit hallelujah hallelujah listen look at me please help them how many of you are trusting God to restore something that has left your life it can be anything how many of you are trusting God I want to release that grace now and I want you to believe it some of you had destiny help us but something happened and they left your life some of you had quality relationships but it left your life some of you had finances but it left your life some of you even had certain levels of graces the lord is asking me to prophesy restoration Kai, this is going to land on people's head i'm saying this thing there are physical gifts you used to see in your life not gifts of the spirit not just gifts of the spirit gifts gifts endowments for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers, singers, but that grace left is coming back. It's coming back. I invoke the grace that he has put upon my life. I prophesy strange restoration. I call it by name and I command it back to your life. I call it by name. Everything you once were that you now are not. I command you to become it now. I command you to become it now. I release that grace. I release that grace. Receive it. I release that grace. I release that grace. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. There are some of us, hear me. You have been doing certain things. But the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life. This is a very serious prayer. I want to pray for you. You have been doing business with the brain of a money monger, but not the grace for the marketplace. You have been singing only with the voice of a musician, but not the spirit of David. I want to release the anointing of your office. The anointing that has to do with your function. Please, I want you to believe what I'm praying. Hear me, hear me, hear me. It's one thing David was anointed to step into his office. Are you anointed for what you are doing? I know you are working, you want promotion. Is there an unction you are working with, or are you just working with certificate? At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus. There will be distribution of graces, it's like an alignment, the anointing, the oil of your call. The oil of what you are doing is about to locate you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now, whoever is functioning without an anointing, functioning without the oil, I stand upon this ground and I prophesy at the count of three, may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you. Get ready now. One, one, two, Two, three, 
Receive that grace now. Take it. Take it. Grace. Grace for your academics. Grace for the ministry. Grace. Help me. The chains are gone. God help me now. I want to celebrate God in this place. Hey! Hey! You're the God of awesome wonder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please. I'm seeing something happening here right now. There are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically. Hold them. Hold them so they don't injure people. I release the grace. You won't control yourself physically. Running speed physically. I release that grace now. Receive grace for speed. Receive grace for speed. Right now, right now, I command you to run, run in the spirit, catch up, catch up, catch up by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I release speed, I release speed, I release speed, speed to your life, speed to your destiny, speed to your life, speed to your destiny. Your life, speak to your destiny. The words you speak, the things around your arms. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. You took away. Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this. Number one. Number two. Please. If you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we are going to be praying here tonight and we are going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you are here you are trusting god for healing i understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we are going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here and jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there 
for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord Ejimi, please you help us Ejimi will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who, who is around again is femi around okay so you can just come and help me here so let's do it that way very fast very very fast if there are more people there see promise is here michael is here so maybe you can add one okay promise just follow promise follow pastor jakes michael follow a jimmy please let's do it very very fast while hold on please don't be distracted don't cut the flow we are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted i expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit hallelujah for those stationed at different points whether at the back any of the overflows i'd like you to believe god for a miracle right now believe god for a miracle you can see someone like our daddy he has come with his crutch believing god to walk you believe you walk sir you believe the lord will heal you so get ready to walk you see there are people stationed around we are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir first station here yeah. you cannot walk i can move with this walking stick which but of the legs has a problem this is the leg this is stroke yes can you lift it no i can't i can't the hand, I can't lift hold it. on look at this sir look at me you believe in Jesus? I believe. You believe in the power of I Jesus? Believe. Lord, I introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? The Lord will begin to touch you. Your hands, everything is already dead. Sir, lift your leg. Lift your leg. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your leg. Lift it. Lift your leg. Lift your leg. Start, try to walk gently. Come. Come, try to walk gently. Come, give me the stick. Look at me. Look at your stick. Come, come. 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 Don't be afraid. Come. come. Lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. 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 chair and just keep him let him sit down while the power of God touches him sir you came here by yourself um, trust him okay and the boy has gone okay he's somewhere in the name of Jesus Christ the God you believe has begun this miracle you will perfect it look for a stick for him there hold your stick by yourself and go don't put it on the ground hold it up walk by yourself and go give Jesus praise look at God is Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Someone is still sick here. Someone is still sick here. I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out for me. Someone is still sick here. No, 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 no. I'll pray for you. But I'm saying, I feel it within this vicinity from ministers roll down choir. Someone is sick. Come, let me pray for you. You came out. Lift your hands. Jesus. Someone is sick here. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth. Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case. But this is a challenge with married people. This has affected, it's one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. Right now. Elder brother, supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hi. You are holding her, but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue i see a transference of grace from a jimmy's wife to you you are doing your work as an usher but you have received something very strange and very powerful you see let me tell you something if if you do not you see hold on walking in the anointing is more than having it having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing if not you will be anointed but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished praying you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and Mata, two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing a strange God, God is giving two of them strange favor strange favor I see strange favor strange favor America God is giving you access I'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head and God is saying he's giving you strange access strange access strange access strange access strange access Muas, God is giving strange favor strange favor strange favor hallelujah I don't know what I'm saying but this is a word for someone and the Lord is saying why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? 
when I have destined you to be this year. This is the word of the Lord. Why make it next year? This is a word for many people. When I've destined it to be this year. As I speak to you, the word is for you. The power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. It's the year of triumph. It's the year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year, my God. Hallelujah. There is a lady here. You have been disappointed with God right now. You actually came to help the ushers. You came expecting that I would directly call your case and you, you, you pray this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and I didn't call your case the power of God is coming on you now now as a sign that God had you. now wherever you are he's locating you now now Command that spirit to leave you. I see you in the spirit. Go now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I stretch my hands now and I command by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Peace to your spirit. Every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pastor Jake is still playing outside. Okay, we can just do it. This is a blessing. There are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss. Ah, there is, I mean, God is just doing certain things. It's like something is really happening. Don't worry about what is happening. Impartations. God, see, let me tell you right now, if the anointing comes on you, just know that is the answer to your prayer. This is not a special once the anointing comes on you. Just know that your prayer has been answered. You understand? This is what it doesn't mean if the anoint if you don't fall down, it's not answered. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying this is how God is choosing to confirm to some people now, as I'm talking, that your prayer, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how difficult your prayer is. Praise the Lord. Now everyone, please stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, Pastor Jakes, come. What do you mean? Please, okay, he's writing something. Just stretch your hands here and pray. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Shakatopakata. Leketeketekete. Stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. No, leave her. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to Toketa. Rakata Kata Bakata. So poto so pekete. Miracles, so God. Testimony, so God. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders, signs and wonders, signs and wonders. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. Visit impossible situations. I tell you, God is moving. I see a cloud. I see a cloud over this prayer request. That's what I see in the spirit. God is moving upon it. Moving upon it. Moving upon it. The Spirit of God is moving over the prayer request, visiting families, releasing angels, releasing angels, visiting the request. I'm seeing the cloud of God's presence, visiting the prayer request. Savior, 
He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministry spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. It has been decreed, it has been ratified. And it is done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, above all that we imagine, is done in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we have decreed. On, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus mighty praise. Hallelujah. Please say to me, still come. Pastor Jake's come. I just feel like doing this is, I, I don't always do this, but I want to prophesy over your lives. And in the name of Jesus, they are my friends. But the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives. They are great men of God in power. But in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension. To prophesy a new level. And in the name of Jesus, I speak it. Step into a new dimension. A Jimmy, God is saying I should release grace for access. I command that grace. Strange access. Strange access. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Strange access. Gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of jesus and pastor jakes god is giving you influence strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence lord i pray in the name of jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are i bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are i prophesy to tosin wherever she is and i speak to hope you are one so i prophesy as it happens to you i bring your wives into this experience in the name of jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once i spotted lizzie somewhere one of the oldest E and I lady come. She came in from Abuja. Part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way. And the Lord is saying I should prophesy a release. I told you about ladies who used to climb trees. When this ministry started, no money, no nothing. They were in welfare, they were in worship team at the same time. They would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the lord is saying i should pray and prophesy 
and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy i prophesy according to the word that you are giving me i open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter shabaka toto barekete zat kaska paskata paskate pash legete to soto preteke skopari adabalaraba a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter and as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter in the name of jesus a new chapter listen i prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the holy ghost Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. We are rounding up. Who is this girl? Come. You. God has chosen to visit you. Come. Come and stand here. God is wiping your tears. This prayer I'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny. I lay my hands upon you and I command the gates to be opened now. I stood there and I saw you and the Lord said I should open that gate. I lay my hands upon you. I command the gates to be open. Be open right now. Be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be open right now. We're rounding up. We're rounding up. Please, this lady with uh, yellow, blue, you come. I don't know you, but the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Lift your hands. This is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings. I lay my hands and I remove the embargo from your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command. Uh -uh. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. Jesus, please visit them. Strange visitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. I just saw a door open and I saw a name come out. Listen. I saw a name come out and I saw the Okalo family. The Okalo family. This is Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting you. All three of you. Step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family. Step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down. Whatever has covered your glory, I speak it right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be open, open, open. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. Shaka ta ta ta. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. Tonight is a strange night. Please receive every prophetic word that I'm going to pray for you. Ah, just allow me to do one more thing. The Spirit of God, I have not seen this in a while. I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State. The Spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now. 
touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway, Benway, miracles. Locate them now, oh God. People from Benway, Benway, strange grace, strange grace. I break witchcraft, Benway. I'm seeing Benway. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm seeing, I know O to go, but I'm seeing the O, A. A at the, is there a place like that? O to bar or something. The power of God, I'm seeing that. Going to that area. The Lord is bringing a miracle. Ends with an A. Whoever comes from that region, in the name of Jesus, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Benway. 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 I don't know why God is doing this, but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo state. Emo state. The anointing of the spirit locates them now. Strangely. Matato Sotota. Emo state. Miracles. Miracles. Breakthroughs. Signs. Wonders. Miracles. Miracles. To Emo state. By the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. If you are from Cross River, Cross River, Calabar, something is happening right now. Cross River, Cross River, Cross River. Cross River. Help her. Help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. It's the Minister of Signs and Wonders. Let me talk to you, my dear. This lady looking at me. You, come. The Lord has located you today. Come. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you for shame. He's bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he's bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he's bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he's bringing laughter to your life. Lift your hands. We're rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening, you don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge, every challenge that has refused to leave, Shapakata, Skaparato Sabadealana, I prophesy upon it right now. I command that it comes to an end in your life now. 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 That fair lady, come. This lady, Diana. Run, come. Lift your hands, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, listen. Whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus my dear look at me i saw you inside a cave and i'm surprised because we've paid for for deliverance prayer and I saw you inside the cave you are just trying to push the door that's why I asked you to come out let me I don't know you do I know you where did you come from where where is that I don't know. Yes, I'm going to pray for you 
God is bringing a major breakthrough. Two things. God is going to throw somebody out of your life. I'm not a prophet of doom, but it will happen. He will reach three days. Huh? Throw completely so that you can move forward. I hold your hands in the name of Jesus. Every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to love Jesus with all your heart. Right? You are a nice person, but your relationship with Jesus. You, you can get teachings after this, but I want to prophesy on your life. God is taking somebody, not death, though, just driving somebody out, an unwanted person out of your life. I prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen. I lay my hands on you and I provoke the heavens to release that favor for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over every family represented here. Whether your nuclear family, your extended family. Hold on. I don't know what has gone wrong, but in the name of Jesus, within now and miracle service match, dramatic turnaround for families. Dramatic turnaround for families. Dramatic turnaround for families. In the name of Jesus, one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers. I want to pray for you. I don't know where they are, but one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny, I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come, come and hold my hands. Congratulations. I'm seeing a job. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very good job. And the Lord is saying, I should congratulate you. Look at me. You will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations. And I hold your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. May it come to pass. I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, in one month, 30 days. I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost. 30 days, beginning from today, step into those results. Step into those results. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Step into those results. Step into those results. Strange dimensions of results. Hallelujah. Whoever has despised you, whether to your knowing, or not to your knowing I pray may God put them on the scene as he lifts you may they watch your rising as God honors you I pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down prayer life down your praise and worship life down fasting down word life down in the name of Jesus Christ I activate fresh grace Receive it fresh grace, fresh fire outside. Receive it fresh grace, fresh fire, fresh grace. Hallelujah. Wherever your prosperity is, I pray. May listen, listen. Hagar carried Ishmael, and they were roaming around the desert. They said there was no water. But when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph 
it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this oh whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them i command the earth to open and swallow them whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you may misery follow them the Esther anointing the unction and the grace that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus Shababa Satalakata. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now. Take it. I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we're done. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Many of us. Do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection. Listen, I want to pray something that is very powerful in your life. Listen, when you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you, it's a cause. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? The Bible says, defend you in the day of trouble. There are many of us, if for any reason things go wrong in your life, you are in trouble. There is nobody that can arise as a defense. But I'm prophesying to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors, I call them forth right now. In the name of Jesus, may God raise men to be a wall of defense for you. In this wicked, um, wicked state that we are living right now in this country, people say if you don't have anybody, and honestly speaking, somebody can get up and come and seize your land. You and your land and your paper, they will collect it because there is no defense. I'm prophesying again. Quarter to shame. May God raise a defense for you. And finally, I want to pray the prayer of Jabez for you. Many of us, ha, many of us have not studied. Honor is not money. Listen, listen. There are many rich people with no honor. Are we together? There are many well-to-do people with no honor. Do you know what honor is? Honor is when God anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation. So for every one person who talks nonsense, there are thousands. Honor. Jabez said, oh, the, the mother bore him in sorrow. You brought shame for me. So I call you Jabez. Honor is more than money, brothers and sisters. The Bible says a good name is better than riches. I pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of God has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all names for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that mantle right now take that mantle right now they don't have to know you but strangers will come to feed your flock receive that grace for honor hallelujah Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We lift our hands to the great I am. Who was and Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. 
hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 